There's like this this weird obsession that like online American vaguely progressive left sort of people have with Argentina for some reason. I don't understand where it comes from exactly. I think it's because they have like um like their own little fairy tale idea of Argentina that they learned from like history channel documentaries on like Hitler still alive in Argentina or something. Someone in my comment section summed it up pretty simply. It's that Americans are desperate to find a country anywhere, somewhere, that is more racist than theirs, that they can point to and be like, damn, those guys sure are racist. So they've taken this like History Channel understanding of Argentina, which they couldn't place on a map, and they've decided that Argentina is that country. They've decided that Argentina is the country that they can finally point to and be like, yeah, there's a country that's more racist than us, guys. We found it. Yes, we're not the worst. It's not us. It's not us. We swear. And it's just so fucking insane because as much as I um argue with and yell at like the dumbasses in Argentina who like to say that racism doesn't exist here and shit like that. God, it is still nowhere near as bad as the US, nor was it ever nearly as bad as the US. Not now and not historically, not even close. Like the US is a country that up until fucking 40, 50 years ago had literal legal segregation. Legal segregation. Black people legally second class citizens. In Argentina, in any country in Latin America post-independence, in fact, that has never been the case. I don't even think Canada. I know, no, Canada did. Canada, in Canadian legislation, it wasn't black people, I don't think, but it was um, natives were legally like a racial second class for a long time. But south of um, the US, there has never been like literal legal racial segregation or anything remotely like it. Not, not just not 50 years ago. Not 150 years ago either. Like, after the abolition of slavery, legally that was it. After the abolition of slavery in the US, they, they kept trying to do it, basically. Other countries have problems with racism, of course. Argentina, hell yeah, has problems with racism, but the US is on a completely different fucking plane of existence in, in that sphere, man. Not even remotely the same, but Americans are just so desperate to point to Argentina somehow for some reason. And, but they don't really point to Argentina. In reality, they don't know anything about Argentina. They don't want to know anything about Argentina. The, the idea of Argentina that they have is from a history channel, as I said, a history channel documentary about like Nazi rat lines. But the thing is, even the Nazi talking point is just American projection because the Argentine government at the time tried to invite like Nazi scientists and shit to develop the economy and stuff, just as the US and also even the USSR did. The difference being the Argentines failed at it miserably because they couldn't actually attract anyone of any worth or note because they all wanted to go to the fucking USA because obviously the US is a much richer and more successful country that had way more to offer them. All that Argentina succeeded in doing, and this is the thing, it's projection because the US took in far, far more Nazis officially. But the thing is, there were like, um, rat lines where escaped Nazis would flee Europe to Argentina with the help of the Catholic Church too, by the way, but not with the help of the Argentine government or anything because Argentina did then and still today has basically no immigration law. They let, they let anyone in, they let anyone stay, you know, very lax sort of shit. As opposed to the US standard where already in the fucking 19th century, they were giving you phrenology examinations to see if you were racially fit to enter the country in Ellis Island. Argentina never had anything like that. So the Nazis basically were able to take advantage of the fact that Argentina was very open to immigration to just like cook up some fake documents, enter the country on a fake name, or in the case where no one knew who they were anyway, because they weren't really well known, just enter on their real name. But they weren't like invited here by anyone. And they numbered at most in a, in a couple of thousands. The ones who were actually invited to the country for like the science programs and shit, they were heavily outnumbered by those invited to the US. And not just that, but it's not just the US because Europe, West Germany, far more full of fucking Nazis at all levels of government, at all levels of officialdom, at all levels of the military than anywhere else in the world post-war. There was no denazification. What about NATO? NATO was basically made by fucking Nazis, dude. Like, some of the, the very first leaders of NATO were, were proud former Nazis. Unrepentant former fucking Nazis. It was basically Nazis all the way down. And it's interesting that Argentina gets like the Nazi stereotype when what actually ended up happening after, after all that had died down a couple of decades later is that the US backed Nazis in Argentina. The US back to the Nazi-inspired dictatorship in its genocide of leftists. You know, the Nazi-inspired dictatorship that very famously kidnapped Jews 
and ask them questions that would be hilarious if you know that people weren't killed over them about why Jews are trying to um, trying to do some sort of conspiracy to take over Patagonia and then murdered them afterwards. It sounds like a joke, but it's fucking true. And they were supported by the USA while doing it. Klaus Barbie, famous Nazi, Nazi war criminal and torturer. The USA employed his services to hunt down Che Guevara. So all of this... Americans looking at Argentina is little more than projection. It's projection of themselves because everything that they accuse of in Argentina of either it never happened, two, it happened, but they fucking supported it and were one of the one of the main instigators of it even happening in the first place. You know, the US has always supported Argentina's far right fascist, racist, Nazi oligarchy, of which the dictatorship which genocided people, including Jews that I just mentioned, was a part of, was a representative of. And free in the edge cases where what they're talking about was actually like an initiative that wasn't particularly done at the behest of the US, they have done it themselves as Communism well. Communism is based. But a thousand fucking times worse and more effective. It's insane that like Americans act like, like everyone in Argentina has like some sort of secret German ancestor or something. They, they're very rare. Only like in, in like backwards hick towns in the South with like a hundred population will you find them. Like Americans educate themselves with random made up shit from the History Channel. Obviously. For the American, it's, it's ancient aliens and Nazis in Argentina, and that is all that they know about the rest of the world. No one took in and collaborated with more Nazis than, than the US. Not even fucking close. No one even came close. No one has supported more Nazis, more racist, fascists around the world than the US. Not even close, including Argentina. So for them, like supposed progressives and leftists to be like, an Argentina, racist, Nazi, ha ha ha. When their country has always proudly supported the racist Nazis in Argentina, including during actual, like, m fucking genocides, attempted genocides of the, of the political left in the country, it's disgusting. Like, 30,000 fucking people were murdered by the US-backed Nazi-inspired dictatorship. Do you think the, the History Channel educated American knows that? And let me provide a great example of this from after the World Cup celebrations. So we have this guy saying, in regards to Argentina, a country that previous, before, like two days ago, he'd probably never heard of, in reaction to this video. So they are burning a uh, like fake coffin on a stick with Kylian Mbappe's face crudely pasted to it. Kylian Mbappe being like the star of the French team that Argentina beat. And apparently this means there's something deeply wrong with this country. Can anyone, like, can anyone explain why? Can anyone explain precisely what the implication is here? Obviously he's trying to say that it's racist, but why? Like, you, you beat France in the World Cup final. The best player on the French team is Kylian Mbappe. So um, after that, you like metaphorically say, haha, we killed Kylian Mbappe. Which, if anything, is respectful because, like, you're 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 fucking scared of him. Every like people have been talking about it. Um, the goalkeeper as well, Divo Martinez, has been like, like he held like a little fucking plush doll of Kylian Mbappe as well. Obviously, because Mbappe bruised his ego a little bit by scoring four times against him during the match and still losing somehow. And they take that like as racist somehow. It's like for these people, like if the subject of like. A joke or like a ribbing is black it, it can only be racist it can't be anything else like they would have done similar shit to this if they had won to Messi it makes no fucking sense but somehow there is something deeply wrong with this country because a bunch of people many of them certainly not white uh like fucking around and burning a crudely like crafted fake coffin thing with a Kylian Mbappe face on it their racism is on steroids how? Winning a World Cup instead of celebrating, they are having extra time to be racist to a 24-year-old. Discuss How is this racist? Can someone explain how that's racist? There you go. The German Nazis moved to Argentina. Is this some... Is that from Kenya? Well, the, the, of course, the, the Nazi mythology spreads a lot with the internet. They probably have the History Channel down there as well. I'm struggling to see the racism in the video. Can you please explain? Well, no one's actually explaining it. And yeah, that's... Another thing is that people got pissed at Mbappe because he said that South America, South American football teams are bad. And then he lost in the final to a South American football team. To be fair, of no fault of his own. He played very well, but it's another reason why everyone is like laughing at him. 
it has nothing to do with him being black. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a great example of classic Argentine racism being happy that they beat, like, one of the best footballers in the world in the most important match in the world. Argentina hates black people with a passion. Evidence, we don't need any. They hate every brown or black person. Us Latinos! What Latinos, dude? You're an American. You're from Los Angeles. You're not a Latino. What the fuck are you talking about? You've probably never even been anywhere south of Mexico. You've probably spoken to two Argentines in your entire life. It's like, as I said, Americans are desperate to find someone more racist than them. And Americans on Twitter, which is thankfully dying, so these people will probably struggle to find somewhere, a website dumb enough where this sort of thing can just be spammed all the time. They, they, they fucking love it. They love to say it. Like, they basically just went looking for an, a country to, to claim that is more racist than the USA. And um, the thing that hit them immediately was, didn't I watch a, a, a History Channel documentary about how Hitler fled to Argentina? And they all collectively decided that Argentina would be that country that they can point to, to make themselves feel better. Americans are not okay. Americans are just... Like, obsessed with race. It reminds me of, like, the obviously the, the, the video I made last week about the American writer, academic, who is obsessed with stating true history about Argentine history, how, you know, there was a black population that largely just mixed in with the rest of the population, blah, blah, blah. But somehow taking that and being like, Argentines should start identifying as black because 150 years ago, they might have had a black ancestor, which is fucking bonkers as hell. I guess if like 10 generations ago, you, you had like a black, a black ancestor, that means you're, you're black. Americans just aren't okay. Americans are weird as fuck. It's the one drop rule, but, but the one drop goes back to time immemorial. 